So, hello fellow coin collectors, this is Glenn, and today we are looking at two Greek coins. So, here I have two very small Greek coins. If I compare them with a... I should take a modern coin actually, I don't have one. Okay, a Hong Kong $2, there you go. Or, how about this Gambian sixpence, which is the same size as the Australian five cent coin. Oh, this is pretty similar size to the American one cent. Uh, Euro cent, probably close to the two or ten Euro cent. So those are two coins. You can see they're very small. If I put the Lydian coin, uh, very small, about one cent size, but it is a bit thicker than the one cent coin. So what coins do I have here? Well, I have two cities that are quite close to each other. I have Lydia, and this is the information that came with the coin. Ooh, so, okay, I'll move it down south. Move this one also down south. So we have a Sardis, Lydia. So Sardis is a city in Lydia. Lydia is a ancient place in Turkey. So they don't use the name Lydia anymore. Uh, they also used to speak their own language, Lydian, which is related to Hittite and Lycian. Okay, AE15. AE is just the name for bronze, base metal. 15 is just um, 15 millimeters. Apollo and Club, that's describing what's on it. And this one is probably a reference. Their reference, but I'm not too sure. Or maybe it's just their... Uh, whoever sold it to me, I can't remember who sold it to me. It's just their inventory. Okay, next one we have Atlas in the name of Philetiaros. So Philetiaros, his name's on the side next to the snake. Kingdom of Pergamon and Athena Serpent. So it's described AE15, so it's just the size again and the metal composition. And this is not issued in Pergamon, it's actually issued in Miletus. So, if we look closer at the actual coins, this is not the best example. So, we have the club there. We have Alaros or whatever. We'll have a look at Wild Winds in a minute and we'll see the actual coin. And here we have, I think it's supposed to be Apollo, and his head is facing towards the left. Or the right. Oh yeah, facing towards the right. Yeah, my right. Uh, and this one is another small coin. It has a snake. So in the description it says serpent, so you've got the head up here. Probably going down. As to the type of snake, I'm not too sure. This one looks like Monogram M, and the name is here. So it's a pretty crude version. Uh, and if we turn it around, we have what is described as a Venus head. It's an ancient Greek uh, imagery. So Sardis adopted Greek culture um, pretty much probably, probably between uh, probably Alexander the Great's takeover. Uh, under the Persians, they're probably still Lydian. Uh, but Miletus was a Greek colony, so they've always been Greek. And coins were first minted in Sardis. So it's the Lydians that came out with coinage first. They, they had Electrum, which is a native gold and silver. Uh, around about 700 BC, roughly at that time. And then later on, they divided it into gold and silver issue uh, to give it more of a authentic value. Because if you take native bearing electrum, then, you know, the composition of silver and gold in it is a bit different. Uh, so, let's have a look at the coins. So here I have Wild Winds, which is a good site for looking up ancient Roman and Greek coins. And here we have some. 
Okay, so this one's got the SDY monogram. So that's a uh, Sarayan noon or something like that. Uh, so let's see. And then we've got another one down here. Here we have the one with the MAO monogram. My one looks like the one with the M. There's quite a few of these coins. And this one is TA. And this one is AP. And you've got a lot of different coins, so a lot of them do have Apollo naked. And these are described as okay, head of Apollo right. And let's just look, we'll look at a close-up of the actual coin. So that's the actual coin there. So you've got the club. So for the, it's a bit hard to make a comparison considering both. One's big and one's small. Uh, so there you've got the club there, the clubs there. And you've got the initials. It's in a reef, probably an olive. And there's a polo. So that is... The actual coin you can look up to see if, uh, an actual value of the coin. So we'll go to one of the lesser. Uh, no, sometimes they have a value that it was purchased. No. Okay, this one was seventy-five dollars. Okay, this one you're probably talking about fifty dollars. It's in a little bit poorer condition. Uh, both of these are probably fifty dollars, and then we look at the Mycia, so Pergamon, and the coin that we're looking at is this one. Okay, so you have got the serpent. My one's not as in as good condition. Then you got the head of Aleppo, and if we look at the text for that one, uh, it doesn't say how much it sold for, but two thousand nineteen. Yeah, they're usually about three to four grams. So that's how much they should weigh. You can and then you've got another one down here. And AE15, 75, sold for fifty dollars American. So roughly my one would probably be about fifty dollars Australian. So both of them about fifty dollars. That's just my experience. But that one went from twenty five US dollars less than expected. So then you've got some other coins. Got another one down here, A15. This is twice the weight of the other coins. So you've got the head, the snake, the monogram. So the monogram is probably the initials of the engraver or the mint official, I reckon. Uh, that's why the monogram is different for all these coins. So did this one have a value? No. So that is a coin from Pergamon. Okay, so here we have a map. So Sardis is here next to the Hermos River, uh, about four kilometers south. Uh, then we have Miletos, which is over here. And Pergamon is up here. So that's the ruling city at the time that that coin was issued, Miletos. And the Sardis coin, uh, it's roughly about 200. They're both roughly about 200 to 300 BC, so over 2,000 years old. And all these cities, a lot of them probably made their own coinage. So you've got Lydia is here. You've got Mycia, Phrygia, Carrier. They used to have their own language as well. So the Phrygians. Aetolia, Lesbos, Tios, Samos, these used to be independent states, Greek though, in culture. And this is Ionia, used the coastal cities. Another important city was Ephesus, and Smyrna, and a lot of the others were pretty small. Pelicanossus, so that, uh, that was... Helicarnassus is down below. They have what? Not the Col what? Colossus of no. Uh, so, oh, they have one of the seven ancient wonders of the world. And this is a uh, fifty AD. So, Larissa. So, if you wanted to, 
look up the cities well wind is a good site to look at so if go back to greek cities this is the best site for roman and greek coins that i find uh, for asian coins zeno is the best site uh, okay go home okay so you've got a reference here uh, and you've got greek coins just choose a city or if you want to if you know the region you don't know the city like aeolus uh, apulia that's in italy arabia so I've got petra so this Acadia is also in uh, the Peloponnese. This is a good site. Maybe I'll do another video on ancient uh, how to use this site because it's actually a very good website. Okay, so let's look at this coin again before I put it away. The light's not that good. Now it's better. So not the best examples, but you know, I just wanted some more examples of ancient Greek coins. And the patina is coming off, so I'm going to put them in coin covers. And then here is another one for Polo. So basically you're paying, like, oh, in Australia, probably $50 for them. Uh, if you're in the United States and Europe, you can probably get them for cheaper. But then you've got to pay GST if you import them into Australia. And... If you want a better quality coins, you probably have to pay at least one to two hundred. Oops, shaky table. Sorry about that. Anyway, I'll leave the video here. I'll leave a link down below to eBay because uh, that's where I got these from, eBay. But if you wanted to, V Coins or MA Shops is also good for buying ancient coins. And they have a reputation uphold. So thank you very much and have an awesome coin and banknote collecting time. Thank you and goodbye.